joining us now with more on that. And today, right now, it still feels, you know, nice outside. It's not oppressive at this point. At, at this point, we got a really nice day ahead for us. But today, kind of a good day to start drinking the water, start hydrating now in preparation for the excessive heat that will find its way back into the Pacific Northwest just in time for the weekend. With a beautiful live look out over downtown Portland, a nice view out there with just a few popcorn clouds out over the Cascades. We might pick up on a raindrop or two out that direction, but not as widespread as what we experienced yesterday. As we hold steady out at PDX at 66 degrees, but as we work our way through the rest of this afternoon, expecting temperatures to get back up into the mid, if not upper 70s in many cases, I would not be surprised if a few folks were able to squeeze out some 80s today as well. Mid 60s found out at the port of Kalama in southwest Washington. Our McMinniman's camera there showing us some mighty fine Thursday as we hold steady in the mid 50s out along the shoreline. Again, just a few of those fair weather cumulus clouds with a lot of bright blue sunny skies to be found as our temperatures are already starting to poke their way into the 70s for places like Forest Grove. Mid 60s for Hillsboro and out towards the east. That's where we're seeing low to mid 60s right now. Troutdale, the outlier at about 68 with satellite and radar showing calm, quiet, clear and sunny skies found across the Portland metro area. And that's the case for much of the Pacific Northwest as the National Weather Service prepares us for the heat. That's why we're talking about mid 90s. Thus, why we are seeing those excessive heat watches in effect for the I-5 corridor. This does include the Cascade foothills and also the shoreline as very little relief from the heat will be found during during the overnight hours only falling back to the mid 60s. So that's going to be increasing that heat related illness possibility here in the coming days and with drier skies on the horizon as well. That has the potential to send our fire weather danger in an elevated standard over the next several days. Also, thanks to those easterly winds that will also help to warm us up. Warming us up so much so that we will likely see 50 year old records come to an end. By the time we get to Saturday, you'll see the old record was set back in 1973, likely tying the record for the start of the weekend and the gray shaded bar. That's where our forecasted daytime high temperatures surpassed the 2014 record of 91 on Sunday before we finally start to cool things off with our next chance of rain. So staying hydrated, we got to remember that here. In the if you do have to be out and about or maybe one in Enjoy the sunshine, wear the light color, loose fitting clothing and take those frequent breaks indoors as our temperatures in the rivers are going to be cold. So if you're trying to find relief from the heat, maybe avoid those waterways as wearing a life jacket is essential to your survival in this extreme heat as the ridge of high pressure is the biggest culprit for the building heat, not only across the western US, but the entirety of the continental US as this trough continues to sit just offshore. That's going to be locking us into the heat, not only through the weekend, but the first half of next week. So for today, expecting to see temperatures get close to about 80 degrees, plenty of sunshine raining down as as we fall to the low 50s. This is going to be a mild night for us as we continue to tack on the degrees even during the overnight time frame over the next week or so. You can see that weather pattern setting up for us as we move through Saturday, Sunday, Monday. We're going to be issuing some coin six weather alerts all due to the excessive heat watch, which could potentially turn into an advisory as we move through the next several days. And we can't forget about Mom's Day on Sunday as well. That just so happens to be the hottest day we're expecting to see over the next week as we get back up into the mid 90s. Would not be surprised if some folks maybe creeped closer to about 97 as well. But mm -hmm. I always say once you get up into the 90s, it really doesn't matter how much hotter you go. It just feels uncomfortable out there. Yeah, it's a wash at that point. It is. I did move <laughs> some of our plants already today into the shade. Some Good. of them already look like they were like, what's going on? So yeah, they know what's coming. They know. Okay, <laughs> we'll be right back with more news and a final check on that forecast.